Hi Capricorn, how are you? Welcome to Karma Light Readings. I'm Karma. This is your uh, clear weekly love reading, Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're doing it from the dates of January 9th through January 16th, okay? So January 9th through January 16th, this is Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. <clears throat> Let's take a look and see what we have. Holy Spirit, what messages of inspiration, enlightenment, guidance do you have for Capricorn pertaining to their person of interest or person that they are in a relationship with? Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of January 9th through the 16th. I'm going to be asking specific questions here, Capricorn, okay? So Holy Spirit, please show us how does this person feel for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? How does this person feel for Capricorn? So the person that you're dealing with or thinking of Capricorn, <clears throat> how do they feel for you? We have the Knight of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, and the Eight of Pentacles. So I feel that you could be dealing with another earth sign or air sign, <clears throat> uh, or I mean a fire sign. But here's what I'm getting. This person feels they do want to come forward and either speak to you or give you a message of some sort about what they've been focusing on either in their life or in regards to you and your situation together. I feel that this person has been really <clears throat> trying to find the right words to say. You may be getting impatient with communication with this person. Okay, you may be getting impatient because I feel like it's they're taking a very long time. Maybe you've asked them a question, Capricorn, or you you may have been the last person to reach out and now the ball is in their court. Okay, so let's get a feel. Holy Spirit, how does this person see my Capricorn? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, January 9th through the 16th. How does this person see Capricorn? How does this person see Capricorn? <clears throat> Three of Cups, the Empress, wow, Nine of Cups. They see you as the one i feel this person views you again we have capricorn on the bottom so again this um this is the devil this could you could be dealing with another capricorn okay um but this person sees you as having it together they see you as the empress right you're in charge you know how to handle yourself properly you know what's going on um i feel like when you guys are together you guys do have a good time together um <clears throat> But because I have the devil in the three of cups, I feel like they may feel like you have somebody else. The energy that I'm feeling is they're, they're just not quite sure. Are you talking to somebody else? Is there somebody else? They don't know. But they, they know that they see you as somebody who's very happy, who's doing really well, okay? You have everything that you need. You're the empress. You're creating. You're dominating your domain, okay? And that you're in a really good place. Let's take a look real quick at this Eight of Pentacles. What has this other person feeling, Eight of Pentacles? What are they focusing on with their feelings towards Capricorn? Yeah, it's like I said, communication. Okay, they're wanting to come forward. They feel like they need to talk to you about something or let you know about something. The Page of Swords, though, is um, a little bit <clears throat> on the defense mode sometimes. Like, they're ready they're ready for anything, right? They're ready for this to be an argument. They're ready for this to go smooth. But I feel that this person's been trying to focus and then get a feel for how to approach you. And they've been doing this for a long time because they're coming in real slow and steady. This could be a message about stability, right? They're focusing on their stability um, and, and coming in with an offer that is worth something, an offer that you're going to want to accept, Okay. Let's see what Spirit's uh, guidance is here. Holy Spirit, what is your guidance in this situation for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Mm. 
what is your guidance? Hold on. I'm not going to take this. Guidance for Capricorn regarding this situation, January 9th through the 16th. All right, guidance is five of pentacles and the world. I feel that you need, <clears throat> you guys may have went through a really hard time here together. Okay, no communication. I feel that this is showing me that there's a need to close out a cycle of animosity. Okay, closing out a cycle of animosity here and allowing the healing and the forgiveness to take place. Okay, if this is something that you're ending with somebody, okay, for those of you that this resonates with, then understand the spirit is saying, you know, make sure that you close these doors properly um, so that you're not having any sort of excess energy coming along with you in the future in your next step of the journey, right? Closing it out properly and just, you know, that's why the page of swords is here because sometimes people can get offensive when we make decisions for ourselves. But I think that it's very important here that, that, that you say what needs to be said and that you stand your ground, okay? And for those of you that this is an ex coming back that you want to move forward, not that you're, that you're, you know, there's, I'm feeling two energies here. Some of you know, this is, I'm um, ending this. Okay. And there's still some things in the air that need to be closed up for others of you. This is you wanting this person to come forward and have some sort of reconciliation. Now, if that is the case, the message I'm getting for you is when you do that, understand that this connection where there was, there was um, a period of whatever the situation was that caused you to break up, like a period of disagreement, which is why you split in the first place. Spirit is saying you have to leave that in the past. That's a cycle that is done and over. You have to treat that like a completely separate relationship, okay? A completely separate relationship and understand that this new relationship is just that. Don't bring in the past if you're going to move forward. All right, let's get the, the outcome here, Holy Spirit. What is the outcome of this uh, situation for my Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Love situation, January 9th through the 16th. What is the outcome? All right, what is the outcome here? Ooh, you have the lover's card. You could be dealing with the Gemini here. Five of Wands, Ten of Swords, bottom of the deck, the Hermit Virgo. Okay, so that is why, too, I'm getting the feeling of closing something out, walking away. Okay, the probable outcome of this is I see there's going to be some sort of miscommunication here. That's why we have the Page of Swords. Be prepared for some sort of um, argument, but don't involve yourself in it. Do you understand what I'm saying, Capricorn? Know that this person may not be able to see or understand what you're saying. There is a, um, a, an energy here of possibly feeling like you've been stabbed in the back or betrayed, or this could be the reason why you guys are ending things, okay? This is a period of time where things are going to be ending. Understand that the full moon is here on the 10th, okay? So a lot of letting go um, and leaving things in the past so that you can move forward this 2020. Um, and this is the week where things that are no longer supposed to be in your life are going to rise up and really make themselves apparent. So if there's something in your life this week with this love connection that is not going harmoniously, Please understand that that is God, that is spirit coming through with this full moon, rising up the tension so that you can see who is really meant for you and who is not. So don't be afraid to go into hermit mode from this situation and from this person because you're needing to make sacrifices for yourself for the next level of your journey to where you're going, okay? Because I do see this being something difficult, but if you know this in advance, you can handle it better and with grace. So again, this is closing out cycles here for the majority of you and allowing things to end in a peaceful manner for yourself and for the other person. All right, Capricorns, if you're interested in a personal reading, the link is down below. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.